Hey guys, yeah, so uh, this is my new YouTube channel, like this is my first vlog. I don't really know the ins and outs of what to do with editing and things like that, so this is my first one. Basically today we're just going to go out, we're going to go on a drive, and uh, I'm going to install some new xenon lights on my car. So I'm just going to take you along with me, and we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to forget the shoes. Here we go. Right, so straight to the yard we go. So yeah, this is my first vlog, like I've already said. Um, my life isn't very exciting, so I'm just going to try and take you along, test out how well I do with vlogging. So yeah, today we're going to uh, the yard, basically. I've got some uh, new headlights in my boot. Um, Xenon lights, and I'm basically just going to kind of do a tutorial. Uh, my car's a reasonably old car, so the bulbs in them are H4. Uh, obviously, you get H4, H7, H11 bulbs, and things like that for different age cars. Before I researched what bulbs my car needed, I ended up buying the wrong pack of Xenon lights, which was a bit stupid of me. I bought the H7 bulb rather than the H4 and when I, I took my headlight off and uh, I came to installing it and the bulb was too small for the for the fitting and I was like what the hell's going on it took me about half an hour to find out that I bought the wrong bulbs yeah uh, I don't really know what to talk about if I'm honest I'm just going to ramble stuck in traffic looking great yeah, so obviously I'm trying out the first vlog, seeing how it goes, seeing how my editing goes, seeing how the quality of the video goes. Well, the traffic, Jesus. So yeah, I'm going to try and make it a daily thing, I'm going to try and... Oh, Jesus Christ. So yeah, we're, we're almost there. And we'll just get straight to it. I'm probably going to try and be as simple as possible. And we're here big ass crane in the way at the minute, but you know, I'll avoid it. Hello. 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 <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, nice one. Nice. Mucky. <laughs> oh, thank you. Right, sorry guys, I kind of missed out a lot of the dismantling things, but that's the boring part. I just wanted to explain what we did. Um, so in here is the original HID, uh, the original H4 bulb, and we've basically just put the HID in, which is just like that. So it fits in like a H4 bulb would. Um, with this one, you connect this one from the relay, you connect this to the bulb, like this, and then basically you've just got your power connectors from the bulb to the ballast, which is here, sorry I'm, my angling is quite bad, and from the ballast you've got your power, sorry it's kind of like a, a shit show right now, so this is the power with a fuse so, to make sure nothing blows, so the power uh, from the ballast that runs to your relay and your relay your relay runs to the light the bulbs in there we've already checked if it's working so that's everything sorted so we know that's working and we're going to drill the hole in this because you can't really get the wires through there so that's the problem if it's not got a dust cap you normally have to drill into there anyway so yeah i'm going to get this one sorted and then i'm going to walk you through the second one Let's see before and after, I pop this in my boot. Let's just leave that there. So we took the bulb out. It's going to be upside down. We took the bulb out already. Snip. Massive kerfuffle of wires here, isn't there? Yeah, well, we'll find somewhere to put that in a moment. Yeah. Oh, what a kerfuffle. Snip. Come here. Snip. Okay, 
Turns on. I'll try and explain what's going on really quick. So we've got the relay connected to the power and the earth here. This is power and this ballast, which basically just every wire just connects up to the HID kit and it runs along. And then we're trying to figure a place for this one, which is the same again, just connect all the wires basically to the bulb here. In a little puppy break. You know. Kind of fussy with that, the metal. Mm. This is no, it was the first one from the relay that we connected, so this one's. Oh, just yeah, okay. not in it. No. That's two. No, that's from the relay. Okay, we're all done. Right, sweet. Right, so we need to test that. So we've tied the ballast under here. Is it on? Yeah. Yeah. Right, That's the LED. Oh no, it is. Sorted. Hold on. Ignore that. I'm going to put it under here. Snip. 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 Right, so I've moved the LED strips to underneath rather than here. So now I've got my HIDs and the white um, side lights. But yeah, all the HIDs wired up now, so we'll just try to come. That's the relay that runs to the power and the earth, which is here. But it's really easy to do. So yeah, that's the HIDs complete. I've just got to clean up this, and I'll be back later tonight with a showcase and how it looks. Hey guys, uh, I know the lighting's really crap at the moment because um, it's dark outside and uh, it's not very good quality when um, I'm trying to video myself outside so that's why I've got the side of my car it's night time now so I'm gonna show you what my um, I'm gonna show you what my xenon lights look like and the daytime running lights that have moved to the bottom of the grill uh, it might be a bit bright but you know I, I just wanted to showcase it so that's how it looks now uh, you can't really see them properly, but you've got the ice white side light and the xenon lights, they're 1200k. Might actually look better like that. And they're, they're the uh, DRLs that I installed. Oh god, that's super bright. But yeah, it has massively increased my vision now. Thanks for watching my vlog. Um, I'm probably going to post out another one tomorrow, uh, maybe the day after, so yeah.